In this next series of four paintings, the theme is Heaven in Ordinary, a phrase taken from a poem by George Herbert on prayer. And running through the four talks will be references to Herbert's well-known poem and hymn, Teach Me My God and King in All Things Thee to See. The poet Blake expressed a similar vision when he wrote of seeing heaven in a grain of sand. So we shall look at four paintings of ordinary life, which are not religious, but which remind us that the whole of existence is infused with a divine or ideal dimension, which we call incarnation. And this lovely painting of the milkmaid by Vermeer illustrates some of the ways artists have been able to reveal an inner light or presence, either in paintings of human beings or of nature or still life. This has often been done in so-called religious art, but it's interesting to find this also in paintings of people going about their everyday business, but who are clearly conscious of presence or an inner light which absorbs them. The life of the spirit is deeply embedded in ordinary life. And this was well expressed by St Paul when he said, in him we live and move and have our being. In other words, it's important to think of divine presence not as something refined or holy or separated from us, but rather as the environment or the energy field in which we live. And before we look more closely at Vermeer's The Milkmaid, it's worth remembering that over the centuries, spiritual writers of all traditions have pointed to the present moment as one of the important keys to the spiritual dimension. The past has gone, and is now only a memory or series of memories. The future is yet to come, and our only opportunity for life exists in the present moment, now. Too often we are preoccupied with thoughts and hopes, regrets, to become aware of the present, and yet it's here that we can move into that presence that state of being which is both infinite and finite. The artist is often the one who can engage in excavating the present moment and revealing to us its meaning and depth. And one good example of this is The Milkmaid, painted by Johannes Vermeer in 1657. It's housed in the Rieks Museum in Amsterdam where it is regarded as one of the museum's finest attractions, for it captures on canvas a single precise moment. He has transformed the seemingly insignificant moment in the daily life of a humble servant into a deeply poetic statement suspended in time. We see a milkmaid carefully pouring milk into an earthenware container, which stands on a table surrounded by various types of bread as she is making a bread pudding. The crusty bread and earthenware pots are painted with great skill and realism. The maid herself is a sturdy young woman wearing a linen cap, a blue apron with work sleeves pushed up, from strong forearms. As in many of Vermeer's paintings, light streams from the window on the left of the canvas. But what is it that gives this simple scene a spiritual dimension? First of all, it is the silence. And by silence we mean not just the absence of noise, but rather something that is always with us a companion presence which we might well become aware of in a situation of physical silence. 
a sense of great stillness pervades the quiet room. Even the milk, poured with such care, falls silently into the bowl. The sense of stillness is enhanced by the bare wall, and there's a quiet dignity in the posture of the maid, and everything is bathed in silence. And we are invited into the silence to live within it and have our being. Then, secondly, there is the light which streams in from the window on the left. Everything in the room, from the bread basket hanging on the wall and the foot warmer on the floor, is enfolded in light which reflects off the various surfaces, the crusty bread, the glazed pottery and the maid's forehead. This was a particular skill of Vermeer and in many of his paintings this same light illuminates the scene and has its origin in a window on the left of the canvas. As with silence, light is a mystery which is not just the opposite of darkness but rather an uncreated light, the light of the world. Then, thirdly, we notice the maid's focus and concentration. She gives her full attention to this simple task so that the milk flows quietly and easily into the bowl. And this kind of one-pointed attention has been sometimes described as prayer which means that this simple action of the milkmaid becomes something sacred. As George Herbert put it, a servant with this clause makes drudgery divine, who sweeps a room as for thy laws, makes that and the action fine. The artist shows us one present moment in her life, a single moment, in which she carefully pours milk. She has been pouring this milk for three and a half centuries and will continue to do so into the future. The supply of milk is constant, a reminder that the present moment is all that we have. It is our home. Over the centuries, spiritual writers of all traditions have pointed to the present moment as the key to the spiritual dimension. The past does not exist since it is no more. The future does not exist since it is not yet. There is only the present, which continually changes from moment to moment, but is ever present. It links us to eternity, to what St. Augustine called an eternal present. And for de Caussade, it was the sacrament of the present moment. And there is a sacramental dimension in this painting, in the wonderfully realistic loaves of bread and the outpouring of the milk. The holy is discovered by peering through the ordinary and in paying attention to whatever the present moment brings. Anyone who gives real attention to this painting is in turn brought into the eternal present within the presence of silence, light and deep humanity. And it is in this presence that we live and move and have our being. Jesus.